Hello students, welcome to your English lesson. This is a lesson for grade 5 and our topic today is weather around the world. I'm Alenka Taslak and I will be your teacher today. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to write a short text about weather conditions in Croatia, in our neighboring countries and in England. For this lesson, you need a pencil and a notebook, a tablet, a laptop or a mobile phone with internet connection and a QR code scanner. Keep in mind that you can pause this video lesson anytime you need in order to do your task. Now you know the names of continents and some countries, and what is important in many countries is to talk about the weather, especially in England. People in England love talking about the weather. They often complain about the weather. Why? What's the weather like in England? Well, in many cases it is cloudy. It can be partly cloudy or mostly cloudy, dijelomično oblačno ili uglavnom oblačno. It is often rainy, kišovito. If it is overcast, the sky is completely covered with clouds and there is not much light. Overcast, tmurno. You can pause this video lesson now and write the words in your notebooks. England is in Europe. What other European countries do you know? The countries you know are marked with colors and numbers. So country number one is our country, Croatia, of course. Number two is Italy. Number three Slovenia. Number four Hungary. Number five Serbia, number six, Bosnia and Herzegovina, number seven, Montenegro. What's the weather like in Europe? Well, in summer it is usually sunny, and in winter it is usually snowy. Now you can pause this video lesson and write the words sunny and snowy in your notebooks. Now we know something about the weather in Europe. What about other continents? What is the name of the continent that is colored red? Asia. The orange one is Africa and the pink one is Australia. In the north of Asia, the weather can be cold, chladno. It can be stormy, oluino, or stormy with hail. Oluino s tučom. Hail znači tuča ili led. It can be foggy as well. Foggy maglovito. In the south of Asia it can be warm, toplo. In Africa and Australia it can be hot, vruće. You can pause this video now and write the words in your notebook. What's the name of the yellow continent? 
North America. The violet one is South America. And the white one is Antarctica. What's the weather like there? In this picture, we can see the sun and a cloud. So, the weather is sunny to cloudy. Sunčano s navlakom. It can be just windy or it can be windy with rain showers. Vjetrovito s pljuskovima. This is thunder. Grmljavina. Ali pripazimo, rečenica ovdje izgleda malo drugačije. Do sada smo govorili it is windy, it is sunny, it is cloudy. Ali kada je riječ o grmljavini, onda kažemo there is. There is thunder. This is lightning. Munja. Isti slučaj kao i s grmljavinom. There is lightning. And it can be freezing cold. Jako, jako hladno. You can pause this video lesson now and write the words in your notebooks. It's your turn to revise the vocabulary. You should match the words to the pictures. Picture number one means cold, hladno. Number two Overcast, tmudno. Number three, freezing cold, jako, jako hladno. And number four, foggy, maglovito. What is the weather like? Ispod ovih kvadratića nalazi se sličica koja predstavlja određeno vrijeme. Kvadratići će nestajati s ekrana, a vi probajte pogoditi o kakvom je vremenu riječ. Let's start. What's the weather like? It is sunny to cloudy. The next one. What's the weather like? It is snowy. What's the weather like? It is windy with rain showers. What's the weather like? It is stormy with hail. What's the weather like? It's hot. What's the weather like? It's warm. What's the weather like? There is lightning. What's the weather like? There is thunder. Scan the QR code or copy the link bit.ly slash weatherworld into your web browser to play a memory game. You should match the words to the pictures. If you don't match right there, a cross sign appears. If you do it correctly, a tick sign appears. And this pair disappears from the screen. There is a sentence and there are two pictures. First, you should choose the right picture that matches the sentence. Then, you should choose the continent where to put the picture. Our sentence is It is snowy in Antarctica. Snowy is picture number one. And the continent is Antarctica. So, snowy goes here. It is hot in Africa. Hot is picture number two because temperature is higher. 
picture number one is just born. So we need picture number two and the continent is Africa. So our picture goes here. It is warm in South America. Warm means the temperature is not so high. So we don't need picture number two. Warm means the temperature is not so low. So we don't need picture number three. What we need is picture number one. And the continent is South America. So it goes here. It is sunny to cloudy in Australia. Number one means sunny. Number two, cloudy. Number three, sunny to cloudy. So we need number three and the continent is Australia. Here. It is stormy with hail in Europe. Number one means rain showers. Number two means stormy with hail. This is what we need. But just to check, what does number three mean? Thunder, yes. So we need number two and the continent is Europe. Here. It is stormy with hail in Europe. It is overcast in Asia. Number one is overcast. It is what we need, but just to check, number two is thunder, number three is foggy. So we need number one. It is overcast in Asia. The continent is Asia, here. There is lightning in North America. Number one is thunder, number two rain showers and number three is lightning this is what we need and the continent is north america here there is lightning in north america now scan the qr code or copy the link bit.ly slash weatherworld5 in your web browser in order to do the following task. Prvo odaberemo kontinent, ali moramo zapamtiti koji smo kontinent odabrali, u ovom slučaju Afriku. Od ponuđenih kartica trebamo odabrati onu koja odgovara vremenu na tom kontinentu, ali mi nemamo taj podatak. A da bismo došli do tog podatka, moramo kliknuti na slovo i koje se nalazi u gornjem desnom uglu kartice kako bismo poslušali i pročitali informaciju koja nam treba. Zapamtimo Afrika. It is foggy in Asia. There is thunder in North America. It is sunny in Africa. Hmm, Afrika. Evo, to je kartica koju trebamo. Kliknut ćemo na nju. I sada još uvijek možemo odabrati hoćemo li se vratiti nazad ili ćemo odabrati baš ovu karticu. Odabiramo ovu karticu jer je to ona koju tražim. What is the weather like in Asia? It is cold in Asia. What is the weather like in Africa? It is hot in Africa. Complete the sentences. It is in Asia, then in Africa. You should compare the weather in Asia with the weather in Africa. You can't say it is cold in Asia, then in Africa. Ne možemo reći hladno je u Aziji, nego u Africi. You should say it is colder in Asia, then in Africa. Hladnije je u Aziji nego u Africi. Ako želimo reći da je negdje hladnije, sunčanije, oblačnije i slično, pridjevu dodajemo nastavak 
a ara. It is in Africa, then in Asia. It is hotter in Africa than in Asia. But be careful. We have two letters, T. Why is that? Hot je kratak pridjev, a u sredini ima otvornik koji se isto tako izgovara kratko. Hot. Now you should complete these sentences. It is in North America. It is windy in North America. It is in South America. It is sunny in South America. It is It is cloudy in the UK. Primijetit ćemo kako svi ovi pridjevi završavaju na slovo Y. Pogledajmo što će se dogoditi sa slovom Y ako uspoređujemo vrijeme u dvije zemlje. It is in North America than in South America. It is windier in North America than in South America. It is in the UK than in South America. It is cloudier in the UK than in South America. It is in South America than in North America. It is sunnier in South America than in North America. Slovo Y promijenilo se u slovo I. Now complete these sentences with the correct form of the adjectives good and bad. The weather is in South America than in North America. The weather is better in South America than in North America. The weather is in North America than in South America. The weather is worse in North America than in South America. Neke pridjeve moramo naučiti na pamet. Bolje, lošije. Scan the QR code or copy the link bit.ly slash weatherworldhikes.c in order to watch the video and answer the questions. It's your turn now. You are the weather presenter. Imagine the following situation. The weather is going crazy in Europe. There are different weather conditions in each country. What's the weather like? It's all up to you. It's completely your decision. And this is your homework. The title of your homework is Weather Today. You should write 40 to 60 words about the weather in eight different countries in England, Croatia and our neighboring countries. Remember, there are different weather conditions in each country. Begin your sentences with it is and there is. You should compare weather in different countries. You should use comparatives and the word then. Copy the link bit.ly slash weatherworld5a or scan the QR code in order to listen to the following tongue twister. Jezikolomac. Zašto jezikolomac? Ne uspijemo bez greške izgovoriti rečenicu jer je puno sličnih riječi. Za vas bi bio pravi izazov više puta i bržim tempom ponoviti Whether the weather is warm, whether the weather is hot. We have to put up with the weather, whether we like it or not. Bilo da je vrijeme toplo, bilo da je vrijeme vruće. Moramo se nositi s vremenom, sviđalo nam se to ili ne. It's self-assessment time. How do you feel about the following statement? I can write a short text about weather in countries and on continents. Are you very satisfied with it? Is it just okay or could it be better? That's all for today. Bye bye.